In Blender, we can use line project brush to cut out the more straight line. But how about cutting like this? And like this. Like click a brush in ZBrush. In this video, I will show you how you can cut the mores without any paint add-ons. And I will also show you cutting the more with paint add-ons pause cutter. So please stick to the ends. Blender line project brush can only cut out the straight line and it is a bit different from a ZBrush click curve brush even in the drawing direction. You will notice that direction of the line project brush is opposite to the click curve brush direction in ZBrush. But you can easily change the direction by pressing F. Flip direction. Line project brush will cut out the whole moray even though I draw the line around the half of the moray. By checking this limit to segment checkbox, you can limit the cutting of the moray to the line you draw. But there is no way to cut like this, like click cut brush in C brush. We will use Boolean method to cut like this more. You will need to activate two free add-ons. Go to Edit Preference Add-on tab and search for Extra. Activate the add-ons, Mesh Extra Object and search for another add-on, Boot Tools and also activate the Bluetooth add-on. We have this add-on activators. Uh, we got an many extra objects at the Add Mesh menu. And I will use the Single Vertex, Add Single Vertex. In Scubbing Panel, uh, 3D cursor will not be shown. It was automatically hidden. So first go to the Show Overlay tab and turn on the 3D Cursor. A 3D Cursor play is where a new object will appear when you add a new object from Add Mesh menu. Press Shift and right click to place the 3D Cursor here. Add a single vertex from the Add Mesh menu. This way automatically activate the edit mode and you must be also in the vertex mode to see this single vertex. If you are in the edge mode or poly mode, you can see this vertex. Now I will draw the poly line where I want to cut. To draw a poly line, select the vertex and press E to extrude. If the line is hidden under the object, I will press Shift C to change the wireframe mode and continue drawing the line by pressing E extrude. And I can adjust the vertex position and later. I want this vertex to smooth cut, so I press Ctrl Shift B to vertex beware and uh, rotate the wheel to increase the vertex count. Uh, continue drawing the line by X to E to get a close shape. Press A to select all the vertex and press F to fill the shape with a surface. We need a solid object to cut out this sphere, so add a solidify modifier and give it thickness. Uh, 
adjust the thickness and offset to get the shape correct. We can add mid-arm modifier if we want symmetry cut. Select the mirror objects and pick up the icon sphere to get the asymmetry boolean. Now we can ready to cut out this sphere. We will use boot tool to cut out this sphere. Go to the end panel, edit and expand the boot tool. At this stage, selection is important. You must first select the uh, shape and second select the original mesh. Uh, the final mesh must be added one, uh, which is the orange outline. And press the boot to auto boolean difference. Don't use this brush boolean difference button. It will hang your computer because uh, we are dealing with a uh, very large amount of buttons in the scripting mode. Brush boolean is suitable for the low poly boolean operation. In this case, I'm going to use difference. Now, um, this mesh is cut out and the boolean mesh is automatically deleted. I will upload more videos about scabbing tips and tricks. So please subscribe and like my channel. Uh, this is another example of cutting the spear. Uh, place the casa here to start adding uh, buttons. Add singles borders from add mesh menu and edge through the borders to draw the line and beware the vertex to get the shape. Select all borders by pressing E and F to fill the mesh. Add solidify modifier and adjust the thickness and offset and add mirror modifier and center with the spear and with the boot tool Use the auto boolean difference. Uh, the click up process done. By this method, we can click up the object or we can split the object into two. Uh, to show you the split process, I will undo the uh, boolean method. Uh, this time, instead of using the difference, I will use the slide button. It will slide the object into two parts. In this example, I will show you how to cut in the perspective mode. In Blender, we can draw flat surface in the perspective view. So to cut like this, uh, we must first activate the orthographic view. First change to orthographic view by pressing this button. It is very important to change to orthographic view because we can draw flat surface in the perspective view. The remaining process is the same as before, except from the change to orthography view. Uh, place cursors and add uh, single vertex and draw the cutting line. We can see the line in wireframe view, so in this time I use the a see-through move. Uh, shortcut is Alta C. We can do this process more easily with pulse cutter add-on. Uh, but keep in mind that Pulse cutter add-on was designed to use only for low poly modeling. Uh, so uh, now in the scabbing mode, we are dealing with millions of vatas of polygons. So we can use the pulse cutter add-on as usual. First, we must change 
a few sardin in their pulse gada edom. First, activate the pulse gada edom by pressing this button. First, we change this non destructive move to destructive move uh, because we don't want to add the boolean modifier to our scaping mode. Boolean modifier will slow down your computer. And from this setting drop down menu, change the boolean software from first to exact uh, because uh, first boolean software is good for low poly mode. But in this case, we have very high poly scabbing more. Uh, with fast server, uh, we can get some errors in the in this high poly mesh. So we must use the exact server for pulling process. And also turn off this lip preview feature. Now we are ready to use pulse cutter add-on. Now we can use the pulse cutter add-on as usual. Uh, press T to choose the mood and choose the poly angle mood. And control drag the line to cut off. Control middle mouse drag to pivot this point. Drag this middle dot to extrude the shape towards the mole and click in the empty space to confirm the shape and cut. This time I will cut from the perspective view to this horn. Change to orthographic view. And draw the line where you want to cut. Press 1 to mirror X exit. Adjust the extrude depth of the shape. And if you want, adjust the curvature of the shape. And clip at the empty space and cut it process down. Now I can smooth the surface in the scut mode. So change to scut mode. This model was previously sculpted in the dying to boom method. So now we change back to dying to boom method. This pull and cutter area was very low density mesh. Uh, so I add that mesh density by simplifying brush. Now I can adjust and smooth this area by a scrap and smooth brush. Thanks for watching this video till the end and please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.